Hello YouTube, this is going to be a quick video about the Thordson degaussing coil. Now, um, degaussing is something that um, some older uh, monitors have built into them and uh, is also used a lot in uh, arcades where um, the same images are on the screen for long periods of time and you have um, burn-in and this is one of the ways you know the guy would walk around with one of these coils and go from machine to machine and wave it around the television to, uh, the screen itself in order to try to prevent long-term burn-in of the same image um, this is one of those things that I found uh, while I'm digging around for, uh, you know, electronic stuff for the channel and for miscellaneous other purposes. Um, what this is, is literally just a, uh, it's a copper coil. There's a, you know, I, I don't know how many times it goes around, uh, 50, 75, 100 times. And it literally just plugs directly into the mains. There's no transformer, uh, you know, I'm sure there's something in there to prevent it from just blowing the circuit. Um, I haven't cut it open or anything like that because it's actually in really good shape. Um, it has, let's see if we can focus in on this. It says Thorder, uh, I don't know how to say it, Thord, Thorderson. Uh, and then when I Google 19-2000, uh, there's actually a couple listed on eBay for about 50 bucks. So somebody just threw this into the trash for whatever reason. Um, but the name stuck out to me because uh, I actually um, have an old box. It appears that they were also um, not too far from where I live, for one. But they were in the um, audio transformer, audio and video transformer business. Um, this this old box uh, is for an old flyback actually, um, and it says uh, somewhere on here. Oh yeah, up top. It says um, a complete selection um, of audio transformers for every application. Filament power and yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. But um, to give you an idea of what uh, this degaussing is, we can actually go into the audio or the video right here and it gives us an option to degauss. And that's basically what it is. It just tries to get rid of um, any burn-in. As you can see, it didn't really work on this monitor, which is unfortunate because this is a very, very nice um, NEC uh, multi-sync pro and it even has um, it's tough with no light but it has BNC connectors for RGB um, for compo basically for component let me oh shit I don't know where my oh there's a flashlight see gives us what's that it says R on the left and then it says G G sync um, and then we have B uh, H S C S and then Y S or I'm sorry V S so that's gotta be vertical sync um, but yeah BNC connectors I think it's a really nice monitor from uh, July of 2000 is what that says um, but we're gonna wind up uh, this is gonna be a future destruction video coming up on the channel because I have no this thing weighs like 75 fucking pounds it's ridiculous um, and as you can see uh, microwaves are starting to pile up again uh, I'm gonna get a whole box of crap back there uh, I mean you name it so anyway Back to the gaussing. And this uh, Thorradson degaussing coil. 
let's uh, plug it in, try not to electrocute ourselves by holding this fucking death trap and see what it does. Mm. We're gonna do this whole video in one cut. Plug it in. Now, this little plastic death switch from the 70s right here actually pops. So, and if you leave this on long enough, it actually, I thought it was a heating coil at first because I turned it on, it got so fucking hot and started to soften the tape. So we'll click it on. And then as soon as I get anywhere near this monitor, things start to happen. And then we're gonna get really up close to it. You can see what the uh, the magnetic field does to the monitor. It's really cool. If you just hold it there, it actually moves up and down, all trippy and psychedelic like. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? Unfortunately, I can't leave this thing plugged in forever because it does. Like I said, it gets pretty warm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Holy cow. This is my first time doing that. You can hear it. Doesn't like it. That's cool. We're gonna have to edit this video down. All right. So this thing's starting to get pretty warm in my hand. Let's bring it down there. All right, we'll come up with something cool to do with this. All right, let's see what it does to a YouTube video. I taped it in place for, oh yeah. Changing it to black and white. Very cool. Yeah, you could probably make one of these yourself too if you really were so inclined. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just show that off. It's something you don't see anymore because CRTs are pretty much gone. But I'll hang on to it. Alright, guys, take care.